Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 49, X Pages, Logging In and Out. X Pages, where everybody knows your name. Okay, uh, I really have no slides today, so I threw this slide in just to say that I had a slide, but it really doesn't count. But what I want to talk about today is the login and log out node uh, of the extension library, which is which is a piece of the application layout control, which we've done a couple shows on lately, and probably there are more going to come hopefully, um, because it's a very good control on how to get you up and running into a your your application very quickly with a nice One UI 2.1 look and feel. So I've already said more than I wanted to say uh, ahead of time. So let's just go right to the demo and see how to use the login and logout control uh, because there is a bug with it and it's a kind of a very big bug uh, if if you ask me because you, you can't log out. So that that's probably not too good. And there I go talking again. So let's go right to the demo and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, what we have here is, is a brand new database that has anonymous access set to reader. And what I want to show you today is the login and logout mechanism of the extension library. Now to do that, we kind of have to have the extension library, um, the, the application layout control for One UI 2.1 or, or whatever kind of going for us. So we're going to use a custom control here. And we've done this in a couple shows so far, so I'm going to kind of move a little quickly over this part, but we're going to drag the application layout in here. And just say OK. And I'm going to come down here and just make a little middle column so I can add some content. Then we're going to make a new page, call it home, and drag our custom control on. And, and what I, again, what I'm kind of getting into now is doing it this way. Oops, container control. Is by dragging a panel on here. You can actually start working on your X pages again rather than putting everything in a custom control. So leave your custom controls for just the reusable stuff. And then if you're using this technique, you can come in here into the panel and, you know, just start putting this as your content. This is your place to work. Okay, so we're going to save that and preview this. Okay, so nothing fancy here whatsoever. Okay, now let's go back to this layout main. Okay, what we have here is this is kind of a neat little graphic they give us of this banner application, where the logo goes, where the banner application links, and then there's this banner utility links. That's kind of where you kind of see, you know, your name on the right-hand side, then log in, log out, stuff like that. So we're going to come down here to this utility links over here, and we can add these things called nodes. And I haven't quite figured them all out yet but but they, they do seem kind of cool so we're gonna come down here and and I don't really know what the difference between a user node and just a basic node that we can use for it is but we're gonna just use this user node here because it says user and that's what we want we want the user name so that's going to create this node and we can control rendering we can control the label and all sorts of other stuff so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna just do a session dot get effective username all right so that should give us our username if we look at this anonymous okay I haven't logged in yet okay so so far so good now we're going to create another node here add item login and log out node and that's it we're not touching it yet so we're going to save this we're going to come back to our browser. Okay, now the default label is login1, and it's here. And if we if we highlight this and look at the URL at the bottom, this is a, a URL that's valid for logging in. So if we click on it, there we go. We are now logged in. Here's my full canonical name. I, I guess I should note that... Um, earlier when I kind of messed up the demo, is I, as I did go in application properties here, for launch, I did set the to open a designated home. That's why the first time I hit that login, it went to um, the actual X page rather than just the basic old classic domino view. Okay, so now we're logged in, but how do we log out? Well, it's it's not very um, uh, just easy to kind of find that. Uh, I, Declan had to kind of tell me this little trick. Um, so what you can do to log out is you can go to your custom control and add an event 
and I'll, I'll just put before page load and we're gonna add a session scope variable we're gonna put in session scope extension live ext lib dot user dot can log out true now why this isn't an option of the custom control I don't know I, I, I think that's kind of silly but uh, I, I don't know so if we click log in here and we log in guess what here it is but it still says log and it still says the label name okay well that's kind of silly so the way you get around that is coming back to utility links and what you actually have to do is you actually have to blank the label out leave it blank now how you deal with different languages and stuff like that I don't know the answer to that so now if we blank the label and come back here and log in now it says log out okay you think okay we're done all we have to do is fix this up by using it like an at name or, or something like that and then we're and then we'd be good to go but no uh, so if we, if we look at the log log out that it gives us and look at the URL down there it says log in and it's not a trick it actually does not log you out so we're close but there's some bug or something because the log out doesn't work. Well, okay, that's a bite. So what do we do here? Well, the way I, the way I handle this is I added my own item. So we're going to do a um, basic node, and that's going to give us an href and a label. So we're going to make the label log out. Then for the the href. What we're going to do is come in here and compute this to be this, which is basically going to, going to get the path and send us back to the path. So if we look, save this and look at it. Now, okay, now it's not showing. We have to we have to talk about rendering in a minute, but let's log in and just see if it works. So I'm logged in. If I highlight log out, I'm now logged out. Okay, so at least works, which is kind of pretty good for my stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do now is because we don't want it to show up all the time, is we want to go to rendering and we want to compute this. And we're going to click our little dot and come down here. We're going to create, oops. Uh, this is from my notes that I just copied from the side. So we're going to create a variable named uname, and it's going to be it's equal to session scope get effective username. And if that username uname variable is anonymous, we're going to return false, else we're going to return true. So now if we look at this, check it out. Anonymous, we do not see a log out. We click log in. Okay, and... Now we're almost good to go, though now we've got two logouts, the one that's broken and the one that's there. So the way we'll get around this easily enough, oops, is we're going to our event. And we'll just we're just remark this out for the time being, because hopefully they're gonna fix this. And then you can just put this back in. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So last time through, log in. and we can log out now if you wanted to fix your name um, we don't need to go into that right now that should be pretty easy but you can just wrap it in at name yeah you can probably do you know create a notes name there there may be something on the cheat sheet about that but this is how you log in and log out with the extension library app layout control and that's the demo if you have any questions uh, Here's my contact information, and I thank you for your time.